Tonight, new developments in a tragic case authorities now describe as a double murder suicide. A mother in Woodland Hills is accused of killing her partner before possibly tossing her kids out of a moving car on the 405, then dying in a crash in Redondo Beach. It's a really terrible story. Fox 11's Matthew Seedorf is at the apartment complex in Woodland Hills where this all began. Matthew. Christine, this case is just horrible. People that live here can't believe it. Now they want to know why this happened. An intense multi-city investigation underway across the L.A. metro into what authorities now call a double murder-suicide. It's kind of hard to put into words. I think people are in shock at this time, especially for the children. The bizarre trail of violence started early Monday morning at the Montecito apartment in Woodland Hills. There was blood all throughout their front door, all the way to the hallway leading to the elevator and blood on the walls. Law enforcement confirms 34-year-old Danielle Johnson stabbed her partner, 29-year-old Jalen Cheney, to death, then took her two young kids, put them in a car, and drove through the apartment gates. I heard this big thump. I sounded like a bowling ball hitting the my whole ceiling vibrated. Around 4.30 a.m., investigators believe the children either fell or were thrown out of the moving car near Sentinella Avenue on the 405. The woman's nine-year-old girl injured, taken to a hospital, her eight-month-old sister dead on the highway. The mother's crashed car found about 30 minutes later in Redondo Beach, a pile of mangled metal. Authorities say she hit a tree driving 100 miles per hour, killing herself. They were very private people. They didn't hardly speak to anyone. You know, I would say hello, and they barely answered me. They never came out of that unit. Everything was delivered, groceries, food, whatever. They opened the door a crack and would pick up their stuff and go back inside. Neighbors described the couple as quiet, now thinking about the sole survivor, a nine-year-old girl. My heart just goes out to that little girl. That's where it is right now. I can't imagine what she's going through, and I just hope she's got family and people to take care of her because this is a horrible thing for her. The Highway Patrol tells me that authorities are speaking with the family of that nine-year-old girl. We tried contacting them as well, and so far tonight, we haven't heard back. Reporting live in Woodland Hills, Matthew Seedorf, Fox 11 News.